Despite its small size, Djibouti hosts military bases from several countries, including the United States, France, China, and Japan. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Djibouti, a captivating blend of culture, geography, and global significance. Join us as we unravel the secrets of this East African gem, from its geothermal wonders to its vibrant culture. Situated in the Horn of Africa, Djibouti is a small country with a total area of just 23,200 square kilometers. It has varied topography consisting of volcanic plateaus, plains, mountains, and coastal areas along the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. Djibouti is located on the Horn of Africa's easternmost point, known as Cap de Mera. To the east and south lies Somalia, to the southeast is the Indian Ocean, and to the north and west is Eritrea. Much of Djibouti's interior consists of the western Danakil Desert and mountain ranges, including the Mauza Ali Range running northwest. The coastal region along the Red Sea comprises the Gulf of Tajura and the Gulf of Aden. It is an arid barren area, apart from the capital Djibouti city. The Dikil region in the south is a semi-desert plain with scarce plant cover. The highest peak is Mount Musa at 1,980 meters. Djibouti has few natural resources and limited freshwater. Archaeological evidence indicates humans inhabited the region as early as the Neolithic period. From the 7th century AD, Djibouti was part of various local and regional states, including the Adal Sultanate and Ifat Sultanate. In the late 19th century, France established a protectorate over the coast of present-day Djibouti, naming it French Somaliland. The interior remained independent under the Issa's Somali Sultanate until the early 20th century, when France gained control over the entire territory. In the 1960s, the idea of independence gained popularity in the region, then known as French Somaliland. Local nationalist leaders like Hassan Gouled Aptidon campaigned for independence. In 1966, the territory was renamed the French territory of Afars and Issas, acknowledging the main ethnic groups. A referendum in 1967 showed strong support for independence, but France delayed granting it, concerned about stability and viability. After protracted negotiations, Djibouti formally declared independence on June 27, 1977, with Aptidon as its first president. In the first years after independence, internal rivalries led to border clashes between Afars and Issas groups until a peace accord was brokered in 1978. In 1981, Aptidon established a one-party state under the People's Rally for Progress. His authoritarian rule continued for decades. The economic crisis in the 1990s led to some reforms, including allowing multiple parties from 1992. However, the Eritrean-Ethiopian War disrupted trade and destabilized Djibouti with refugee flows. Current President Ismail Omar Gwele succeeded Aptidon in 1999 and won controversial elections amid opposition complaints. Recently, Djibouti has leveraged its strategic location to host foreign military bases, gaining economic benefits. The country also continues to develop port facilities and transport links to become a regional trade hub. Djibouti is home to a diverse mix of ethnic groups, religions and languages. The World Bank estimates its population to be about 1.1 million as of 2022. The two largest ethnic groups are the Somali and the Afar, who together make up around 85% of the population. The ethnic Somali, who are predominantly of the Issa clan, account for around 60% of Djibouti's population. They occupy the southern coastal region. The Afar people inhabit the northern and western parts of the country and account for around 35% of the population. The Djibouti city hosts other minority ethnic groups including Arabs, Ethiopians and Europeans. 
Most Djiboutians are Muslim, with around 94% following Islam. Within the Muslim population, Sunni Islam is the most widely practiced sect. There is also a small Christian minority of around 6% of the population, mostly Ethiopian and European immigrants. The official languages are French and Arabic. However, Somali and Afar are the most widely spoken languages. Owing to Djibouti's colonial history, French remains an important language in government and business. Djibouti has a small economy that relies heavily on its strategic geographic location along major shipping routes. According to the World Bank, Djibouti's GDP stands at $3.5 billion as of 2022. With few natural resources, Djibouti has developed its ports, transport links and free trade policies to become a vital transshipment hub. Trade accounts for around 75% of Djibouti's GDP. The country's major port handles over 90% of Ethiopia's imports and exports. Djibouti also hosts military bases for several foreign countries, providing economic benefits. Other industries include banking, salt production and fishing. In recent years, Djibouti has made significant investments in new port facilities and transport infrastructure as part of plans to become a regional logistics and trade leader. Major projects include the Dorale Container Terminal, new railroad links to Ethiopia, and a project called Vision 2035, focused on economic diversification. Djibouti is a presidential republic with executive power resting in the presidency. The president serves as both the head of state and head of government. Since 1999, Ismail Omar Gwele has been president. The National Assembly serves as Djibouti's legislature. It has 65 members who are directly elected every five years. Assembly members in turn elect the president for a five-year term. Djibouti was ruled as a one-party state by the People's Rally for Progress from 1981 until 1992 when multi-party politics were introduced. While political pluralism is now allowed on paper, in practice the ruling party still wields significant power over government and elections. As part of the authoritarian system, media freedoms and civil liberties in Djibouti are restricted. Reports of human rights abuses include arbitrary arrests of opposition members and crackdowns on protests. However, the country has generally maintained political stability. Djibouti's strategic location has brought interest from international allies and military partners, including France, China and the United States, many of whom have bases there. As a result, the government has been able to leverage foreign support to stay in power. Djibouti has a nomadic heritage and many Somali and Afar communities maintain a pastoral lifestyle, herding camels, goats and sheep. Traditional Somali and Afar music is characterized by drumming, singing and poetic recitation. Folk dances, often accompanied by traditional instruments like the oud and tambourine, are integral to cultural celebrations. Skilled artisans create intricate textiles, pottery and jewelry, showcasing designs unique to Djibouti's various ethnic groups. Djibouti sits on the Horn of Africa and its cuisine reflects influences from Yemen, Somalia, Ethiopia and France. Traditional Djiboutian dishes make use of local ingredients like fish, meat, rice, spices and flatbread. Here are some of the signature dishes found in Djibouti. Marake Kalune is a spicy fish and rice dish. It consists of freshly caught fish baked with onions, tomatoes, garlic and chili peppers served over rice. The fish can include varieties like grouper, snapper or barracuda. Fafa is lamb meat boiled with spices and served with injera flatbread. This dish has origins in neighboring Ethiopia and uses a Berber spice mix to give it a distinctive flavor. Sambusa 
is a savory pastry filled with meat, lentils or vegetables, similar to samosas found in other parts of the world. A spongy, pancake-like bread made from fermented dough, similar to Ethiopian injera. If you enjoyed this video on Djibouti, you'll love this next one.